Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting these fall flowers, fall branches with some, I guess, maybe leaves, maybe flowers, whatever you like. And I'm starting off with drawing my sketch, just drawing a vase, quite simple shape. This is just an oval and then a couple of branches going out of it and on them I will be painting leaves. As I said, quite simple. After I finish with my sketch, I'm just using this kneaded eraser, artist eraser, just to remove the excess graphite because, you know, I don't like really when I smudge the graphite all around my paper, so I really like to remove it. After I finish with that, I did not prevent the paper, but I'm just starting to paint on a dry paper. I picked up quite amount of water in my brush and just with a light, light wash of paint, I'm doing the first layer, tapping in. As you can see, I'm using quite large brush. You don't have to use this large brush and just tapping it with the tip of my brush, adding a lot of paint, actually a lot of water, I would say, and a little less paint for just the first layer to make it a little bit looser and then I'm um, picking up some black and painting in the vase. I do want the right side of the vase to be a little bit darker so I'm painting it in black and the other side, left side, a little bit lighter so I'm not using as much black as for the right side. And as I said this is a quite loose painting so don't worry about anything, just have fun. And right now, when finished with waves, while the paper is still wet on the upper side where my branches are, I picked up a little bit uh, smaller brush and again, tapping in with the tip of my brush, a little bit more saturated paint, using actually the same strokes, tip of my brush to paint in, as I said, a little bit more saturated paint, a little more splatters and then I just left it to dry completely. After it dried, I moved on to a little bit more of details and painting in those leaves or flowers, whatever you like. And just again using the tip of my brush doing circular motions, circles and just here and there a little bit larger and also a little bit smaller just stopping in with the tip of my brush and while the those leaves are still wet I'm using just a little bit darker paint to add to that paint and let it bleed. I'm just tipping with the tip of my brush just tipping and let it bleed. And after that I'm using this well, you don't have to actually use a liner brush, you can just use any round brush you have to do a little bit more details on the vase. And this time I'm doing those lines on the vase, as I said, some details on it. And using again the tip of my brush, I did not prevent the paper, this was just quite dry. And after finish with those lines, I picked up a little bit smaller again round brush and added a little bit more of that neutral black to the right side. And again when finished with the vase I'm doing the branches. This paint, well the first layer dried actually completely so keep that in mind just leave it to dry and also the leaves are dry and I'm now painting in the branches and for branches I'm using black and just using also the liner brush because I do want those lines to be quite thin. You can use any round brush with a pointed tip that would be fine or maybe a flat brush if you don't have a round brush but you know if you are learning in watercolors I would definitely advise you to get yourself some round brush with quite pointed tip because that brush would be very very useful for you. If you don't know which brush to get, just if you, and if you have a budget just for one brush, get that brush. So round brush with a very very pointy tip, some middle size around 8 or 10, I think that would be fine for, for the beginning. And then I'm doing the little smaller branches with detail brush and also doing some details on the vase, again using that black. And 
as always I have to do some splatters you know it's nothing without the splatters so I did some splatters with that yellow and then I'm using white this is this is not actually white gouache those are the paints I made myself so I'm adding just a little bit white on the top of some leaves or flowers again I'm repeating myself but whatever you like and also a little bit of white on the vase just to do some highlights and again a little bit more splatters this time black and I did pick up quite amount of water in my brush and I'm doing those splatters quite watery and with those couple of last details I'll be finishing off this painting and this video I guess quite simple as I said this is a fun simple painting perfect maybe for a card or you know any gift you have to do any bookmark maybe I do love to do bookmarks so of course bookmark and I hope you like it. If you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And you know, this is actually a full series painting. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna do next, but I hope you're enjoying this series. Please do, please do comment in the comments below and do let me know if you like this series. Maybe you have some suggestions. What would you like to see in this full series? And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. That would mean, really mean a lot to me. And if you want to go even a step further, consider joining my channel. Press the join button next to the subscribe. Listen to the offer and decide whether or not you want to join. And you know, guys, thank you again so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.